Hello everyone, welcome back to Rolling Solo. My name is Adam Smith and I'm excited today to be doing a Kickstarter preview for Iron Clays and Spades from Roxley Games. The first thing I want to make mention of right off the top is I am being compensated for my time for this Kickstarter preview, so I want you to take that into account as you watch the rest of the video. I'm aiming to give you an informative video that will help you make an informative choice on whether or not this product is for you. So Without further ado, let's move into the Kickstarter details. The most important piece of information is when this Kickstarter closes, and that is June 20th. And after the Kickstarter closes, there will be a pledge manager which will open up. It's important to note that you will need to pledge at the upgrades and add-ons level in order to have access to the pledge manager. Of course, any pledge levels higher than that particular tier will have access as well. That is a 19 Canadian pledge or a 14 US pledge. During this video, we're going to take a look at two of the products available as part of this Kickstarter. The 100 set or original set of Iron Clays, which came from originally the Brass Kickstarter. And we're also going to take a look at this limited edition wooden chest here on the left. This one here in front of you, which is considered the original set, it has 100 Iron Clays inside of it, is really a result of the Brass Deluxe version Kickstarter which happened last year. After that, we'll then take a closer look at the limited edition wooden chest of 400 iron clays. This is a pre-production version of that particular product. So there will be some minor changes we'll touch on throughout the video when we reach that spot. But these are the two products we're gonna be showcasing inside of this Kickstarter preview. So what is an iron clay made of exactly? Well, there's a few different things. 64% of it is made of limestone and other clay minerals. 24% is synthetic compounds for strength and and sound dampening and 12% is for the iron core which gives the chips their weight. So now that we know the three major elements that make up an iron clay let's talk about the durability of these chips because of course if you're playing these in poker or as a game counter during your board games you can expect to be flipping these rotating them stacking them piling them up and you're probably wondering will these chips hold up over time well I'm happy to report that the finish on these iron clays is fantastic and definitely those three major major elements we talked about are key in what keeps these chips from showing wear and tear as they are used over time. For those of you that are wondering whether iron clays would be very useful as a game counter, I can absolutely confirm that they are in fact fantastic. And this example here in front of you comes from Shadows of Brimstone where I currently have a hero and in order to represent the currency or value of money that this current hero has in the game, I'm using these iron clays to represent that rather than having to write it down and keep it tracked manually. So again, you can use these iron clays as game counters whether it be for a round counting you could use them for health you could use them of course for money which makes probably the most logical sense and there is a large list of games which these iron clays are compatible with you can find them on the kickstarter page in multiple sections underneath the different pledge levels but if you again even take a look at your own board game collection you're likely to find a number of games where these iron clays could be substituted in for cardboard tokens. I think it's time that we take a look at the very first set we're going to cover in this video and that's the Iron Clays Luxury Game Counters 100 set. Now a hundred set means exactly that, a hundred Iron Clays inside of the box that you can expect here in this original set. It goes for 39 US or 53 Canadian and we'll go through each of the different denominations of chips here shortly when we go through the box but I wanted to make mention of the fact that these are the original original iron clays, meaning they came from the brass Kickstarter, uh, and they were, at that particular time, a way to take the iron clays which came inside of the games of brass, those deluxe versions of brass, 
and then allow you to buy this particular box on the side with a few chips thrown in as well in order to fill out a complete set of 100. So that is where this original set came from. However, in this current Kickstarter, you can actually pick up this 100 set completely full from the get-go for 39 US. To open the original set is pretty straightforward. You'll notice a ribbon at the very bottom. This box folds over on itself and it actually has a magnet to keep this side flap down. So you can see it clicks right back in place when you want it to close, which is super handy. Opening this particular box all the way up, you'll see and reveal all the poker chips inside. So now I'm gonna show you a visual of how to actually take this out of the box. Just put your thumb like this on the edge and push down a little bit. Grab this ribbon and pull straight up. One of the two sides of this tray is gonna come up in the air. Simply grab from the very base of this particular tray, move this storage out of the way, and you're ready to go with your poker game or your board game. The tray insert inside the original set is also extremely nice. You'll notice that there are some etchings on the plastic. It's transparent. You can see straight through to your chips to see exactly which denominations you have. Of course, if you're mixing and matching multiple sets, that can become extremely handy to be able to see through. And you have this clear cover that you can simply just remove like so and give you a little bit better of a look at the etchings on the top of the plastic. And now you're ready to go ahead and begin your game. The original set comes at a total chip value or total bank value of 1,640. Ease of access to the actual chip tray itself is very simple. If you're trying to grab an entire row, simply grab on either side and pull the entire row out in one foul swoop. If you're trying to divide up a couple chips here, sometimes because of the spacing, it's easier to remove one chip from the row that you're going after. And then from there, you have perfectly enough room to be able to grab all the denominations that you need from there. Now I'll show you exactly how easy it is to put this thing back inside the magnetically sealed box. So first off, put your plastic tray cover back on top like so. We're going to move this out of the way while we grab the actual storage box. You're going to pull this ribbon straight across the top like this. Maybe grab it with the left hand, place your pointer finger up against this wall for stability and kind of pull against it to keep this band tight. Then we're going to go ahead and place the tray on top of the band and as we do we're essentially just lowering it down into the box slowly but surely until it's all the way down and then you simply go ahead and close the lid it will magnetically seal and you're all done now we're going to move to the next level we're actually going to go all the way to the top of the options in terms of what you can pick up during this kickstarter and this in front of you is the iron clays 400 wooden chest this is a limited edition chest as part of this kickstarter and this chest is going to be filled with 400 iron clays inside a premium handcrafted wooden chest with a removable suede line bank tray this set of 400 chips is designed to suit all heavy games, Euro style games, Ameritrash games, 18xx games, and even poker games up to 10 players. Now on this pre-production copy of the wooden chest, the actual metallic white screen printed design is only on one side of the box on the very, very top, but in the final version will be on four sides of the box. Inside of the limited edition chest, you can expect to find a total bank size or total iron clay chip value of 107,280. Another thing to note that's extremely important is you might notice that this is not filled in with all of the exact denominations that will come in the final 400 bank build that you can see on the Kickstarter page. It does note that it comes with 40 500 chips that are green and 42,000 chips in purple. So you can expect those to be within this 400 set when it is produced. However, I have a pre Kickstarter prototype version of this and so those chips are actually not part of this set just yet. Now you may be one of those people that don't actually want the denomination breakdown that's inside of the 400 bank build on Kickstarter. So if you want to actually customize or build your own bank, that option's also part of the pledges as well. $30 US will give you the ability to essentially customize your bank and you can make it up of 20 different sleeves of your chosen denomination. You can also see in this shot here, the actual suede slots for all of the chips 
and 20 chips fit in each of those compartments. Again, very similar to the plastic version in terms of how easy it is to actually get your hands on these chips. There's enough space you can easily pick up an entire roll of chips and move them out. Or if you need to share a roll and split it in half, simply removing one chip will give you that space so that you can easily remove or include more iron clays. So if you happen to go with the wooden chest for the iron clays, you might be wondering how easy is it to get this thing to the game table, being that the 100 set is a lot simpler looking, at least in weight. Well, the bank trays, as I mentioned, are fully removable, so when you're ready to actually play your favorite game, as long as you've preset the denominations you want in a particular bank tray of the two there, you can simply go ahead and slide this straight out, move it to wherever you want in your house or wherever you're heading in order to play your favorite game and simply place it on the table and it's ready to go. Now I've gone ahead and taken one of these bank trays and I've reversed it so you guys can actually see the magnets embedded in the back side of the bank trays. This is what attaches to the back side of the actual wooden chest itself to ensure that these bank trays don't come sliding out on you. Another design choice with this particular wooden chest that I believe is really important to mention is the fact that when you bring these bank trays to your gaming table, they're not just protected inside, they're also protected underneath and outside as well. So on the very bottom of these bank trays, there is a layer of suede as well, which is going to protect your gaming surface or table that you lay these on. And that's really important when you're talking about a product that has a lot of weight to it. Now on top of that, the actual wooden chest itself being that when all all the iron clays are stored inside of it absolutely has some serious weight. There is a layer of suede on the bottom of this box as well to protect a gaming surface, table, or shelf underneath of it. Storing the iron clays away inside the wooden chest is extremely easy. You'll take all the bank trays that you've pulled out and you'll slide them right into the rails inside of the box. You're going to wait until you feel that force of the magnets at the very back of the bank tray connecting to know that this is securely in place and do the exact same thing with the bottom one as well and you've got all your iron clays safely stored away. For those of you that already own some iron clays from the previous brass Kickstarter, whether they be the fill-out package, which comprises of the 100 original set here, like myself, I picked up two fill-out sets during that brass Kickstarter, which basically took the chips that were inside the deluxe versions of the two different brass games, filled them out to allow me to put them into two 100 sets. So for me, in my purposes, if I wanted to go ahead and upgrade my entire collection of iron clays from a 200 set which is two of these to a 400 set then I can actually use that upgrade path in order to help me that documentation is actually on the Kickstarter page itself and it's there to help you ensure that you don't need to buy more iron clays than you already have Roxley offers a variety of upgrade options in that documentation you can use it and pay a bit less for the box you want and it will ship only part partially full so then you can fill in the missing slots in the tray using the chips from your existing sets that you got during the deluxe copies of brass to have a complete set and that's kind of the roadmap that you'd want to do if you were part of those original kickstarters keep in mind as i mentioned earlier on in the video that if you are not happy with the denominations that come in the preset wooden chests, you have the ability to build your own bank and choose the sleeves and denominations of iron clays you'd like to have within those wooden chests Keep in mind as an add-on, you can choose to pick up sleeves of 20 iron clays of any denomination that you see during this Kickstarter, including the new 2000 chips, the new 500 chips, and the new 50 chips. Now that we've covered the original 100 set as well as the limited edition wooden chest, I want to talk about iron spades. And these are an additional product which is part of the ongoing Kickstarter. These cards are premium playing cards encased in a gilded letter pressed box. If you want to find out more information on these particular cards, I'll ask you to go check out the Kickstarter page. There are options within one of the wooden boxes to actually have the top bank box instead of it being filled with denominations of iron clays actually have two packs of these playing cards in the top section like right up here as well as 200 iron clays at the bottom and this is considered the wooden chest edition for 200 usd 
or you can actually pick up these particular iron spades separately on the side as add-ons as well. And that's going to conclude the Kickstarter preview for iron clays and spades. I really hope this was an informative video and helps you make a decision either way on this particular Kickstarter project. Thank you guys so much for watching and as always keep on rolling solo. Oh,